Hey everybody, JC here with another TNI toy review. And today's review is in association with TFormers.com, your number one news source for everything Transformers. And for today's review, we're going to take a look at the new Transformers Hero Mashers Jetfire figure from Hasbro. Now, with like all of the Hero Master figures in this line, this figure comes packaged in a very standardized window box packaging. Um, on the right side, you have a conglomerate image of a, a figure with mixed and matched parts. Um, Optimus Prime's head, um, and then various body parts from other figures. Um, on the left side, you have the Transformers logo, and then down below, you have the Hero Masters logo and the name of the character. On the back of the packaging, you have an image of the Jetfire figure with various parts from other figures. Um, and you have Jetfire saying, A leg from Autobot Heat Wave? Now that's what I call a hot foot. And then off to the side, you have images of other figures in the assortment um, or in the line. Jetfire, Starscream, Autobot, Heat Wave, and Rodimus. Okay, so let's get the figure open and take a look at what's inside. Okay, so here's a look at the figure outside of the packaging. And for the most part, I think it looks pretty good and looks pretty true to uh, Jetfire. Um, I like the head sculpt on this one. Uh, he's got that battle mask. Uh, type head sculpt on it um, which looks pretty cool he's got the black antennas they don't move at all um, and then he's got the red on his wings his wings are basically the exact same wings that came with uh, the Hero Master Starscream only they've painted uh, a portion of it red and like with Starscream you can have if you want you can have the wings pointing up with the white ends uh, kind of c coming up over his head. Uh, I think that makes him look more like a seeker jet than, than jet fire, so I, I prefer it the other way around um, with the wings pointing down and the red, red part pointing upwards. Um, he's got the blue uh, cockpit like jet fire. Um, now, you know, this is a line geared for kids, so I don't want to get too nitpicky on it. I do seem to notice this trend with these newer Masher figures that there's no Autobot or Decepticon logos on the figures. You know, we looked at Soundwave a couple days ago and he didn't have any Decepticon logos. And Jetfire here is the same way with no Autobot logos. I would have liked to have seen some kind of Autobot logo on his chest would have been nice. You know, the first round of figures, Optimus, Starscream, Megatron that we looked at, they all had, you know, their corresponding Autobot and Decepticon logos on them. So paint wise, you know, the figure is basically the majority of it is white. He's got the kind of sky blue for eyes and then again on his canopy which looks pretty good. It makes it stand out nicely um, and kind of true to the original G1 figure. And then he's got some red mixed in throughout the figure as well as some dark uh, almost charcoal gray like on his feet and his hands and like up here near his uh, chest area for like vents or something. So, you know, overall I think the figure looks pretty nice. Um, you know, being that the wings are essentially the same wings used on Starscream, uh, that portion of the figure doesn't so much say Jetfire to me. Again, I do like the red um, on it, but, you know, the wings themselves are, are not terribly Jetfire looking to me. But, you know, again, this is a line geared towards kids, so I'm not going to try and nitpick too much. And the other thing this figure uh, is kind of missing uh, that I think would have been nice if they included is some kind of weapon. You know, Jetfire does have a, a, a rifle that he typically comes with, but this particular figure comes with no, no accessories other than his wings. Um, now, if you have, like, the Optimus Prime figure, you can always give him um, Optimus Prime's gun. He will hold that. You can just uh, stick it in his left hand, um, and it will fit in there. Sort of. It's a little bit tight, but you, you should be able to get it in there. Um, so if you want to give him a weapon, then that's a pretty good fill-in. But it would have been nice if they had given him some kind of accessory, uh, like a rifle. Even like his uh, jet armor pieces, like, you know, the original figure and even the more modern uh, released version of Jetfire. You know, those armor pieces that snap on and off. That would have been kind of a cool accessory to have on this figure, you know, being it's a mashup and all. So the figure stands just under a hair under seven inches tall. 
Uh, for the most part, these figures are all the same uh, size, same height, regardless of the character. So you can see here, basically, it's the same height as Optimus Prime. So articulation is pretty standard uh, with what you would expect on a um, masher figure. Uh, most of the joints are connected with those ball uh, joints with the pegs on them, so you can you know pull parts on and off and everything. Uh, but the head does have a hinge, so he can look down and he can look up pretty pretty nice, um, and he can turn his head left and right. Um, arms you can get out now with the wings. It does restrict some of his movement in the rotation department. Of course you can if you want, remove the wings and then the arm rotates fine and he can get his arm out with no problem. He's got rotation there at the, at the shoulder and then again at the elbow. Um, he's got rotation and he can bend his elbow about that much. No, uh, no wrist articulation on these. Uh, not really any midsection articulation. Again the ball joints um, there at the leg, so he can do the splits good, get his leg forward and backwards, no problem. Um, he can bend his knee, again another ball joint at the knee, so he can bend his knee about that much and he's got rotation at the knee and then no ankle articulation on these. Finally, just to go over real quick, the whole uh, masher gimmick, um, which is the crux of this line, uh, you can basically disassemble the figure down to the main body like this um, and then you can basically take uh, parts from any of the other Transformer Hero Master figures or if you also collect the Marvel Hero Masters line then you can also actually mix and match parts from that line as well but basically you can take uh, parts from any of the figures and mix and match so we can take like Starscream here and give him kind of an upgrade um, body upgrade so we can take Starscream's head and put it on Jetfire's body um, we can, so that he actually has some weapons, we can take uh, Starscream's arms, which have the side cannons on it, uh, and give him some uh, weapons. Um, then we can also, if you want, give Starscream his own legs. Or you can mix and match if you really want to. So. We can give him one Starscream leg and one Jetfire leg. And then we can give him uh, Jetfire's wings as well. So, you know, like I said, you can mix and match pretty much any way that you want with any of these figures. Okay, so that's my review. Um, you know, overall, obviously, this is a line geared more towards younger kids, though I do think it's kind of a fun line, and a line even adults, to some extent, can enjoy. Um, the Jetfire figure, my only real complaint with it is I would like to have seen an Autobot logo and at least some kind of basic accessory like like his rifle. Though, like I said, the armor pieces um, that, that you typically see on Jetfire would have been nice. A nice addition as well. But otherwise I think it's a nice looking figure um, and will fit in nicely with your other mashers if you are collecting this line. Uh, this figure is hitting shelves now so if you want to um, pick it up start checking your local retail outlets that carry uh, the mashers and you'll you should be able to find it. Uh, that's my review I hope you enjoy it please leave a comment let us know what you think uh, if you haven't already please subscribe and until next time I'll catch you later.